I just found a way you can scrape thousands of verified leads, like more than 15,000, in under five minutes. And the best part, there's a complete free method that anyone can use, no credit card, no trials, no nothing. But I'm also gonna show you the exact paid one that I used to hit my first 10K a month with my agency. Because while the free one works, the pay one is gonna give you leads that no one else knows about. So by the end of the video, you're gonna know exactly how to run both methods and which one is gonna help you scale the quickest. Let's get it. So there's two different routes you can go, one of which is the general route, which is what most people do, which is scraping leads off of Google Maps, and it's 100% free, so it's a great option for beginners. Otherwise, we have the more unique route, which is gonna be a lot more personalized, but you need to unfortunately hire either a VA or you need to go and do it yourself, but I would not recommend as an agency owner doing it yourself, just outsourcing it to a VA for three or $4 an hour, which I'm gonna basically show you the different methods and exactly how to do them. And if you want this entire Myra board, I'm literally gonna go through all this in the tracking sheets. Just DM me on Instagram at noah.helped. Now we're gonna start off with the general or the free version. So a lot of you guys have probably seen this, but you're basically just gonna go look up instant data scrapper or instant data scraper. It's just in the Google Chrome web store. You're gonna click add to Chrome. I already have it added, but you're gonna click this blue button and it's basically this little pokeball icon. And you're just gonna make sure you have that. You're gonna make sure you add to Chrome and then you're gonna go to Google Maps, which we have open right here. I'm gonna go through all of this with you. Now, when you're in Google Maps, basically what we're gonna be doing is searching up your specific niche. So example, roofers in Chicago, as an example. And that's how we're gonna go about this is looking up niche in city. Now, the way we do this and we can identify, obviously the niche is one thing, but then the city is having a way to actually organize and systematically go city by city. So this is basically, this sheet right here is the top 1,000 cities in the entire US. So basically what you do is you go down the sheet and you just say, okay, I'm processing, I'm doing them now. And we just did that one. Now I'm finished with this one. And we skip this one for whatever reason, but you, so you know exactly the cities that you've done. And then right here is where we're actually going to go track them. You track the city, the company name, the reviews, and then the phone number of the company. But just so we have an easy systematic way to go and track all of this. So that's the first part. We're obviously going to start here. So let's say we haven't done New York yet. So we're going to go start with New York. So you're going to go over, you're obviously going to plug your niche in. So let's say we're working with roofers. So we're going to go roofers in New York, because that's our first city. So we're gonna do roofer in New York and you see it's gonna go right there. Now, what you're gonna do after that is we're just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom on this left-hand column. So we're gonna go back and you're just gonna keep scrolling down right here to get as many options available or as many leads available as possible. So we're gonna just scroll to the bottom. I don't know how many there are. We could be here for six hours if it just is never ending, especially New York. Probably wasn't the best one to choose right away. But you can see it's already starting to load a bit, so it might be out. It looks like it will give it like two seconds. Yeah, so it looks like it looks like it's out. Basically, what you're gonna do then is you're gonna go over, click this little pokeball in the top, the data scraper. You're gonna click it, and you're gonna make sure you have the right table selected. So I already have the right one. You can see it's all of these in here. Basically, what you're gonna want to do is it's probably gonna show up. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be a bunch of like these random things. What you want to do is you want to make sure that after you click it, you erase all the columns except the name, the number, the reviews, and then the phone number. So we're gonna go back over here, we're gonna pull up our instant data scraper, and we're gonna delete all the columns that are irrelevant. So we're gonna delete this, this is the name right here, here's their uh, star reviews, or whatever, 4.8 star, but we're, we want the number of reviews they have. And the reason we do that is so in our message, we can mention something like, hey, I found you on Google Maps and saw you had 52 reviews as an example, just to make it a little more personalized. We don't need their address, all we need is this right here. So we're gonna go X out of all of this. We don't need directions to them, we don't need any of that. You're gonna X out of all of this and you're just left with these, which is the stuff you want. You're gonna click copy all right here and you're gonna go over to your lead scraping sheet and you're gonna go to leads and you're just gonna basically paste it in here. Now this is New York, so you're gonna make sure you're doing that. And then as you're doing it, over here, you're gonna make sure in New York, you make sure it's on processing because you are processing it. We're gonna erase these. And then you know, and also your virtual assistant knows, like at, at once I had like three or four virtual assistants scraping them, then they know, okay, if, if Marie is scraping this city, then I should probably, I'm not gonna do that one because you don't wanna double scrape, then you have to pay them double, which has happened to me more than, more than once, which is never fun because you're just paying for unnecessary work that you don't actually use because it's just duplicates. So you wanna make sure you track all of this. So basically, you're just gonna keep doing that for every city. Once you finish, you're gonna click 
done and you have your lead list right here now sometimes it shows up like weird like this so what you're going to do to get rid of this little minus sign is you're going to do Control f you're going to look up we're going to click these three lines you're going to find the minus sign you're going to replace it with nothing and you're just going to click replace all and then click ok and you see it just takes away the minus sign on all of them and then we want to just make sure we format this correctly so let me just copy and paste these and we're just going to make sure it's formatted correctly and then we make sure this is all new york right here and then you can also add as well if you want you can add the date that you scraped it just so that you know and also your virtual assistant knows as well so you would put in uh today's date in there and that's basically the entire process for doing the google maps one and you basically am just are just going to go city by city so next you would go over to you look at your next city and it's los angeles so you would do roofer in Los Angeles, California. And it's the same exact thing. You just scroll down, keep doing that, pull up your instant data scraper, make sure you've had the right table selected, only the, only the relevant ones. And then you're gonna just click copy all and then use insert it in your sheet. And that's the free one right there. This is what a lot of people do. And this is what I recommend for beginners, especially if you have very limited capital, because it's just 100% free. Now this next route, this is really what I use to scale my agency up a lot past my first 10k month with cold email is I got the leads from here from a virtual assistant actually paying them. So this is what I would recommend. If you do have some capital and you want to hit 10k a month as quick as possible, I would 100% recommend this route especially in today's day and age everyone gets leads off of these like big sites and the thing is like yeah they're easy to get but that's also a downside because they're easy for everyone else as well so especially when there's so many agencies so many marketing agencies especially i get people like asking me like no is smma dead like there's so many people in my niche and i'm, I'm like no it's in fact it's going to work better than ever because there's such a low standard so if you can differentiate yourself, it's going to make, it's going to make everyone position you like, oh my gosh, this guy is, is doing something totally unique, which is what I've never seen. And that's the exact approach I take with my agency. And again, if you have any questions on like any of this or ask me in general, just DM me on Instagram, but this is the paid route that I go. So for the, what we're going to do is basically the, the point of this or how this works is instead of just going on Google maps or whatever, we're going to find places where people can't, where you can't uh automatically scrape these people so we're going to go on like instagram we're going to go on like facebook we're going to find people running facebook ads as an example and we're going to scrape these because in our message we can say hey if i saw your ad on, i saw your post on instagram like right that is so much more unique because nobody else is scraping that which is the best part about it now to find these virtual assistants you can either go you can do facebook groups which i highly recommend i'm going to show you why or you can do like fiverr or Upwork, you can do any of those, but I recommend these Facebook groups because with Fiverr, you hire them and then you pay them, but then Fiverr takes an extra couple dollars for all the leads they scrape. So you end up paying an extra fee for Fiverr. Whereas with this, because it's all, it's just you you and the uh, vendor, there's no extra fee. So I always like it and it's honestly way easier because Fiverr has all these like regulations and stuff. But the top Facebook groups that I like is like virtual assistant community, Philippines, cold callers, closers, telemarketers, virtual assistants, appointment setters, appointment setters slash virtual, virtual assistant hub, work from home jobs in the Philippines. I get a lot of my uh, virtual assistants from the Philippines because they all work really hard and they are relatively cheap as well. You can do like three or four bucks an hour, but just go, you're gonna go to these Facebook groups and you're gonna make a post that looks something like this. Like, hey, urgent, I'm hiring now. Here's a position, here's a salary. You say, always say up to, because you never wanna say, hey, you're gonna make this 100%. Uh, and I'm going to show you how like the best way to pay these people, but just make sure, Hey, no experience needed. And then you have the cheeky little call to action DM me to apply. The second you post that you're going to get DMS, like literally instantly, like so many of these people are just looking for jobs, looking for part-time work and they just want anything. So you're going to get an influx of people. And basically in the meantime, right after you post that, you're going to create an SOP, which is a standard order procedure. I believe, I think that's what it stands for. I've always just said SOP of what basically exactly what you need. So like what I did is I made a five minute loom video of me basically showing my virtual assistant and walking through exactly how do you scrape these leads? What do you need to do in the video? And then I basically told ChatGBT exactly what I was looking for. I put the steps in there and I said, Hey, enrich this, make it as step-by-step -step as possible. So this is an example here. This is like a quarter of the document, but you want to make a video and a document SOP uh, of that. And again, all this is in the Myra board, which I can send over. Now, basically the whole goal of this is you want it to make it as step-by-step -step as possible. So these 
these virtual assistants know exactly what they need to do. So you, when they when they text you, hey, I'm interested, you're just going to DM them the SOPs. Hey, hey, uh, Maria. Hey, John, thanks so much for reaching out. Here's exactly what I'm looking for. Send them the SOP video and the document you want to ask. Can you do exactly that? You want to make sure it's clear. I'm looking for this exactly. They're going to say yes, and it's going to be perfect. You're going to set the clear expectation. So awesome. I'm looking for X number of leads per day. I'm looking for 500 leads per day. Can you 100% do that? You want to get a 100% buy-in. This is almost like a sales call, right? They're going to say yes. And then in, once you have that, it's like it's that simple. This is a big part. What a lot of people don't do is I hate like for stuff like this doing hourly because the thing is like hourly incentivizes people to take longer. So what I do is I calculate how long it takes to get X leads. So let's say, for example, you, let's say you, you want them to scrape 500 leads. 500 leads is your daily amount, 500 leads per day. Now you obviously don't want to go out and scrape 500 leads to find out how long it takes. But what you go and do is go scrape 25 leads yourself. And let's say that takes 30 minutes for 25 leads. What you then do is you just multiply, you're just extrapolating the data basically. So 25 times four is hundred. So uh, times four, that's two hours and then five of those a day. So that is, what is that? 10 hours. So it's 10 hours per day. And then you would say, okay, if you're paying them three bucks an hour, that's $30 per day to, and hopefully I don't know if my math is right, to be honest. So make sure you obviously use a calculator, something better than me, but that's basically how it works out. So like you want to make sure, Hey, this, you want to set the expectation. It's going to be about 500 leads a day. This is what I'm looking for. And I'll pay you $30 to get 500 leads. And it's also going to sound better. You can even say, Hey, I'll pay you $28. You can even discount it because when you say it, in this where instead of saying three dollars an hour or four dollars an hour you say hey i'm gonna be 28 bucks for the day it seems a lot better because it's obviously a lot bigger and just positioning it like that because then also they're gonna grind to hit that amount instead of grind to spread out the hours and make sure that they're just getting paid more per hour by working more because it doesn't matter how much they work it matters that they actually get the leads we're looking for and as well you're probably gonna need to hire like once you get to the point where scraping a thousand leads a day there's only so many hours in the day. So you're gonna need to hire multiple people, but just make sure you set these targets. And I always like doing something performance-based. So you're gonna pay, pay them fair per X number of leads instead of hourly. And then you're gonna just share a sheet for them to track their leads. This is so that they know exactly like what they're doing. It's gonna be something like literally, literally this right here. You basically share them the sheet and you have them go and fill this out, put in the date every single day. And then make sure as well that they track all their numbers. So you have a separate tracking sheet where like the date, the number of leads scraped, the city. So then you can go and pay them every single week or how, however often you're going to pay them. Now, I know that was a quicker video, a bit more tactical than what I usually get. But just know either of these methods work, but also leads are the lifeblood of every business. And where you get your leads, how you get them, how efficiently you can get them is going to determine how quickly you can scale your agency, which is the most important part. And again, if you do want this entire board right here, happy to send it over, DM me on Instagram, or if you have like literally any questions on any of this or just ask MMA in general, shoot me a DM, I'm always happy to help. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you got some value from this video and I'll see you in the video on the screen right now. Peace.